in the Aqidah of Imam Al-Tahawi, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, we recite, وَنُؤْمِنُ بِاللَّوْحِ وَالْقَلَمْ وَبِجَمِيعِ ما فِيهِ قَدْ رُكِنْ That we believe in the tablet and the pen and everything that's been settled within there. Now, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam tells us that first there was Allah and there was nothing but Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala. Then Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala created His throne. Then Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala created the pen. And when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, خَلَقَ اللَّهُ الْقَلَمْ That Allah created the pen, He, he says, وَكَانَ عَرْشُهُ عَلَمَاءَ That His uh, throne was settled upon water, that there was a layer of water under the throne of Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala. So the scholars, they take from that, that Allah obviously had created water before the pen, but we don't have much details yet because the heavens and the earth had not been created, but it makes sense because water is the source of everything as we see later on um, in the discussion. But it comes now to the, to the pen. The Prophet ﷺ said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created al-qalam, he created the pen. What are the dimensions of the pen? How does it look? We have absolutely no idea. I mean, in this world, uh, every pen looks so different. You know, you can't imagine what this pen would be, and is it a pen like the pens that we write with? Allah knows best what it looks like and how it is. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the pen. And the Prophet ﷺ says, فَقَالَ لَهُ أُكْتُبْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to the pen, write. قَالَ رَبِّي وَمَاذَا أَكْتُبْ And the pen said, O oh my Lord, and what should I write? قَالَ أُكْتُبْ مَقَادِيرَ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ حَتَّى تَقُومَ سَاعَةً Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to the pen, write the details, the decree of everything that will happen and that is, that is decreed until the establishment of the hour, until the hour uh, begins and commences. And the Prophet ﷺ, he said, مَنْ مَاتَ عَلَىٰ غَيْرِ هَذَا فَلَيْسَ مِنِّي Whoever dies believing in anything other than this, then he is not from me. So the Prophet ﷺ said this took place 50,000 years before the creation of the heavens and the earth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already had al-qalam, this pen, write down everything. And what did, what, you know, what did the pen write in? Uh, there's a very beautiful narration, an extensive narration from Abdul Wahid ibn Sulaym rahimahullah ta'ala. He said, I met Ata ibn Abi Rabah radiallahu ta'ala anhu, the great mufti of Mecca uh, from a Sudan. And he was one of the greatest tabi'een. So he said, I met him and this was around the time that this group of people that denied the divine decree uh, known as Al Qadariya. This is the the time that their fitna, that their deviance, uh, started to become prominent. So I told Ata, I said to him, you know, Ya Imam, uh, people are denying uh, the divine decree of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So he said to me, Oh my son, do you know how to recite Quran? I said yes. So he said, recite to me Surah Al Zukhruf. So I recited to him Surah Al Zukhruf until I reached the ayah. وَإِنَّهُ فِي أُمِّ الْكِتَابِ لَدَيْنَا لَعَلِيٌّ حَكِيمٌ That verily it is within Umm al-Kitab, it is within the mother of books, لَدَيْنَا which is with us, exalted and full of wisdom. So Ata stopped me and he said, do you know what Umm al-Kitab is? Do you know what the mother of books is? I said, no. He said, it is a book that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wrote 50,000 years before creating the heavens and the earth. In it is that Fir'aun is amongst the inhabitants of Hellfire and Tabbat Yada Abi Lahab and Watab that perished the two hands of Abu Lahab and everything else until the Day of Judgment. This book has everything. Uh, Fir'aun even asked Musa Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us and it's ironic because Fir'aun is being mentioned here particularly by Ata bin Abi Rabah. Fir'aun asked Musa alayhi salam and this is documented in the Quran, فَمَا بَالِ الْقُرُونَ الْأُولَىٰ you know, what of the previous generations? What do we know about the previous generations? And what happened to them? And Musa alayhi salam answered, قَالَ عِلْمُهَا عِنْدَ رَبِّي فِي كِتَابٍ لَا يَضِلُّ رَبِّي وَلَا يَنْسَى That the knowledge of it is with my Lord in a book. My Lord does not make any mistakes, nor does my Lord forget. So the qalam, the pen, which was created 50,000 years before the heavens and the earth, wrote in what's known as اللوح المحفوظ the preserved and protected tablet. Allah calls it Allah al-Mahfud uh, because it's protected from any changes and it's also protected from access. No one can access this preserved tablet, not from the human beings, nor from the jinn, not even from the angels, not even from the malaika. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has access to Allah al-Mahfud and so it's protected, it's preserved. Only Allah knows what's within it and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He calls it many things in the Quran. Allah calls it Kitab and Mubin, Imam and Mubin, a clear book, so there are no, there is nothing ambiguous in that book. It documents everything precisely. Allah calls it Kitab and Mastur, uh, an unrolled, untouched tablet. 
right? So it's never been touched. It's never been, uh, the papers are not wrinkled in any way. And of course, the papers don't look like the papers that we have as well. It's a very special type of book. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, مَا فَرَّطْنَا فِي الْكِتَابِ مِنْ شَيْءٍ that there, is not, that, that there is no knowledge that is missing from that book. Everything is within that book. Even, as Allah tells us, even a leaf falling from a tree. Now think about how extraordinary that is. A leaf falling from a tree, at what speed it will fall, what type of leaf it will be, what land it will fall upon, uh, what will happen to it, um, you know, uh, who will pick it up, you know, when will it dissolve, all of that has already happened. That could, that's happening right now. You know, you might run over something as you're driving with your car. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decreed that. Uh, while you're opening a door, um, you might struggle with the knob or you might turn it the wrong way. It's already written in a lawh al mahfuz 50,000 years before the creation of the heavens and the earth. And you know, we could look at that with a sense of optimism uh, as well. And Imam al-Sha'bi rahimahullah ta'ala, uh, he was once sweet talking his wife. And he said, isn't it amazing that 50,000 years before Allah introduced the skies to the seas, He already wrote down your name next to me. You know? So it was 50,000 years before the creation of the heavens and the earth, our names were already written down next to each other. So everything is within Allah al-Mahfud, everything is within that preserved tablet, everything that would have happened, that has happened, that will happen. And you know, we don't have much about the description of it. Uh, except for a, a pretty lengthy narration from Abdullah bin Abbas ta'ala anhu. And Ibn Abbas ta'ala anhu, he says that al al-Mahfuz is preserved in al-Bayt al-Ma'mur, which we'll, we'll probably talk about later inshaAllah ta'ala, the, the frequently visited home where the Malaika, the angels do tawaf. And it's preserved directly under the Arsh of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, directly under the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the seventh heaven. And he said it's made of, of red rubies. And of course, not the red rubies that we see. It's, it's made of a special type of red rubies. Its upper end is tied to the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and its lower end reaches towards the angels. Its script is light and its pen is light. He said Allah glances at it many times, hundreds of times a day and with each glance He does what He wills. He exalts one who is humble, He humiliates one who is honorable, He enriches one who is poor, He impoverishes one who is rich, He gives life to one person, He gives death to another person and He does whatever else He wills. La ilaha illahu, there is no God but He. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I hope you enjoyed and benefited from this video. If you did, then please do share it. And if you'd like to follow the rest of the series, then please do click on the top box. And if you'd like to see all of the other episodes and the other videos we have to offer, then please click on the box under that. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more amazing content.